Hi guys, Dane here, and today it's time for another episode of Five Bookish Facts. So this episode idea, I guess, came from myself, but I, I wanted to do this one because it's my most read author of all time, and that is Terry Pratchett. This is just a small selection of some of his books. I've actually done a Terry Pratchett bookshelf tour video, which I guess I'll link to below whether or not I have released it. So there you go, check it out. You might get a pre-release tour of my uh, Terry Pratchett books. But anyway, you know the drill, it's a Wednesday, it's five bookish facts. Feel free to let me know in the comments if there's an author, a series, a genre, a literary award, you name it, a character we could even do. And if you've got any ideas for an episode of five bookish facts, let me know and I will see what I can get to. <laughs> that didn't really make sense, but we're just gonna style it out and keep going. All right, let's go. Up until 2005, Terry Pratchett was actually the UK's best-selling author. Now, he got unseated by J.K. Rowling, which is perhaps unsurprising, but he is still in second place, so his books are available in 36 different languages, and he sold over 60 million copies worldwide. Not bad. Fact number two, Pratchett was diagnosed with Alzheimer's towards the end of his life. He actually helped to raise a large amount of money for the charity. Uh, fans ran a campaign, which I actually donated to, called Match It for Pratchett, where fans tried to all chip in and equal the amount of money that he was raising for the charity. And uh, despite the fact that he had been diagnosed with Alzheimer's, he continued to write. He just simply called it an embuggerance. He finished his last book, which was the 40th book in the Discworld series, called Raising Steam, using voice recognition software. So Pratchett was knighted in 2009, which meant he became Sir Terry Pratchett. And to celebrate, he did a number of awesome things. <laughs> so the first one was that he created a coat of arms for himself. So the motto on it was Noli Temere Mesorum, which means don't fear the reaper. It also had an ankh on it for ankh Morpork and an owl carrying two books. Another thing that he did was he thought that a knight needs a sword. So he went out to the fields back behind his home and he dug up some ore that was then mixed with some iron ore from a meteorite and smelted himself. And with the help of a local blacksmith, he made this meteorite iron sword. He said, Thunderbolt iron, you see, highly magical. You've got to chuck that stuff in whether you believe in it or not. So fact number four, Pratchett's always been a bit of a geek and he was actually, I guess, a pioneer back in the early days of the internet. So he had a, he had a Usenet group in the early 1990s where he could talk to fans about his books. The luggage was created during a game of Dungeons and Dragons when he was a kid. He liked playing games like Thief, Half-Life 2 and Doom. He painted Warhammer figures and even expressed some interest in writing a Warhammer book, which sadly never came about. So he was a bit like Douglas Adams in that respect. Douglas Adams was also kind of an early adopter of computers and the computing and digital revolution. Oh, fun fact, which isn't actually in my script here, but Terry Pratchett once sent my dad an email. My dad actually emailed Pratchett this fan letter and he asked him, tell me, sir, were you ever dropped on your head as a baby? And Pratchett replied to the email saying, no, but a baby was dropped on my head. And fact number five, this is really a bunch of different facts all surrounding his death. So unfortunately he passed away on March the 12th, 2015. I was at work at the time. I remember I went out for a cigarette and basically chain smoked about five cigarettes and had a bit of a cry and then had to go back to my desk and carry on working, sadly. Uh, I did go to the pub at lunchtime though for a, a cheeky one for, for Terry. Now, one of the interesting things is the concept of GNU Terry Pratchett's. So in Going Postal, the clacks were introduced to the Discord and they're kind of like a series of semaphore towers that allow you to send messages over great distances. And the idea there was that a clacks tower used to send out a message when a worker died and it was called GNU. And so the idea was to make sure that the name carried on going up and down the clacks towers forever, as long as there were towers and operators to keep sending it. And effectively, it means that the dead become infinite throughout the clacks system. So G stood for passing on the message, N meant not logged, and U meant it must be sent back when it reached the end of the line. So the idea of GNU Terry Pratchett was born and people started adding this to source codes for websites, for example. So when you viewed the source code, you'd be able to see it. Uh, it became a Twitter hashtag. Fans also added it to their signatures on fan sites and all this kind of stuff. There's a group for it. And the whole idea is to use GNU Terry Pratchett as a way to make sure that Mr. Pratchett is never forgotten. RIP Sir Terry. So anyway, that's that for this episode of Five Bookish Facts. Be sure to let me know in the comments what you would like to see a future episode on. I'm up for pretty much any suggestion at this point. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, please do hit subscribe for more bookish videos and I'll see you soon for another one. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.